Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to recreate this jungle themed canopy. Let's get started. You will need a bed canopy, also some white ribbon, floral green ribbon. You will also need seven rows of tulle and lastly 24 stems of your preferred greenery and one pool noodle. Mind you, everything you can get at Dollar Tree. The only thing I didn't purchase was the bed canopy. I ended up purchasing that at five below. Okay guys, what you wanna do first of all is cut your pool noodle in half. Once you have cut your pool noodle in half, you wanna get your paper clips. Just undo your paper clip and you might end up just using three or four. That's what I ended up using. Just make sure you secure it. Just make sure it's super secure. As you can see here, once you secure that pool noodle to the other one, you just wanna measure it and cut off the excess that you don't need and just do the same thing. Close it with the paper clips. So once you have your pool noodle secure from both ends, it should look something like this. And what I ended up doing is just getting the canopy and trying to tug it in there just to make sure that it was nice and tugged and it was the right size. Next, I just ended up going in with this white ribbon that I had laying around. And just make sure you close both ends just so I can be extra secure. And once you have done that, you're gonna go in with your green ribbon and it's pretty much self-explanatory. You're just gonna wrap it all around your a wreath and make sure it's covered. It doesn't really matter if it's not that neat at the end of the day. It's not going to really matter because we're not gonna really be able to see it. So once you have finished wrapping the green ribbon all around your wreath, it should look something like this. Okay, so once that is done, we are going in and we're going to add ribbon to the top and the bottom of the wreath. And we're going to cut off the excess in the middle because we won't need that. And as you can see here, you just want to hot glue it. The little sections that come off and you're going to do that all around. Just make sure you take your time. You don't want these little pieces coming back off again. Okay, so once you're done with that, we are moving on to the floral and you just want to take the leaves off the stems and just get creative here. The thing that matters is that the wreath is nice and fluffy and as you can see here, the only thing I'm just doing is just having fun with it. So just enjoy this little short clip of me sticking them wherever. So once you're done, this is how it should come out, looking nice and fluffy. And I'm just showing you the inside. This is how the inside looks. Okay, so moving on to the tool, we will be cutting nine inches of length and just creating a giant tutu until it covers the whole inside of the canopy. Finally, when you're done, you want to spread out the tool just so it's not so tight together because the, the more you spread it out, the better coverage you get for inside the canopy. And then once you spread that out, you want to go in with your white ribbon again and put it on top of the tool like I am showing you here. And all you're going to do once you're done with that is hot glue it inside the canopy. So now moving on to creating the mobile, you want to start off by painting the little animals. These little animals I ended up getting at Walmart as well as the paint. Starting off, you're just going to paint them the solid, a solid color. 
and once that is dry i ended up just getting a little bit more creative and adding some texture making them look cute Either you can leave them like this without a face or you can add a face. I ended up adding a face. It was kind of tedious, but it's really up to you if you want to leave them like this or at the face. All right guys, now moving on to assembling the mobile. I had already had it prepared, so I don't have a lot of footage for y'all, sorry, but I will try to explain it the best I can. You will really just need um, a ring to your size. I had this one. And all you wanna do is just get four strings, four white strings, and cut them to the length of 40 inches. Then you will get your clear string and you will add it side by side to the white string that way the white doesn't end up moving anywhere it stays in place so once you have that out of the way next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back in get your clear string and you're just going to end up doing a cross so when you're tying the knots make sure that you knot them five times just to make sure they are super tight and they're not going to unwind themselves so once you're finally done with that, moving on to gluing the leaves onto the string, you will end up cutting your clear string to 20 inches. Once you have your four strings cut off, you will get your leaves and what you wanna do is just make sure that your leaves are in the center when you hot glue them. The string is in the center as well. Super straight, that way it can give it a clean look. By the way, I ended up doing two strings with three leaves and two strings with two leaves and finally just tying the animals to the ring and you are pretty much done and this is the final result once it's all put together i hope you guys enjoyed this video and had fun recreating this jungle theme canopy also don't forget to subscribe and show some love on this video for more content like this and thank you guys for watching <music>